Hey folks, today I'm going to give you a review of the Ryobi cordless um, head trimmer and this one is the pl one plus range that means it takes the same battery you don't need to keep buying too many batteries so you can buy this uh, as the skin itself without the battery I got it with the battery that's what the battery charger and the battery looks like so before I put the battery on, I'll show you everything. That's your main switch. That's your rear handle. That's your front handle. And that's the safety. So you have to press both for them to work. That's your guard there. That's where the battery goes. This is where I hang it on the wall. And um, that is your case. So we shall be taking that off. Um, in fact, let's just put it, keep it on while we put in the battery. There's a battery. Goes in there. Now we can take this off. That's how it works. Let's do some head trimming. As you can see, it is the hedge trimmer. It's pretty good at chopping through thick branches like these, and I have done much thicker or much stronger. If I get a chance, I'll show you on the Albany woolly bush and the front bushes. quickly show you how I do the bits between our fence posts or the grill so it doesn't interrupt anyone else passing by let's do a quick one easy way to do it is to rest this bit on top of the rail so none of the teeth start mixing in with the metals or you know, crashing with each other. And go slow, find your right spots, and remember, safety is important. Okay folks, 
I've just finished doing the rest. Um, I am going to leave the woolly bush, the Albany woolly bush for next time. I might just do a video on that, but I'll quickly show you how I do the maintenance. First things, take off the battery. And then I get my cloth, just give everything a bit of a wipe, make sure it's not too filthy. So I'm in, um, I know I'm going to use it again in a, a week. So after that, I'll give it a much deeper clean. You can use toothbrush, you can use uh, soapy water. Personally, I don't think you need soap. You can even disconnect each one disassemble it and then clean it but for now all I'm going to do is use some oil so just going to give the underside some spray flip it do this side try and squeeze some in the blades but don't really need to because this goes back in as you can see it's all nice nicely oiled now Looks pretty clean to me now. Battery comes out again. And the sheath goes back on. Final thoughts, I find this product very handy. I used to have a hedge trimmer which had lots of extensions, you could bend it around and all sorts, but it was so heavy that I would get tired pretty quick. Or trying to get the thick branches off, it's very hard. In this case, you don't even need a movable blade and stuff because it's just so easy to maneuver in different ways, as you could see in the video. So I've reached, I could reach anywhere and everywhere I wanted to with this. I didn't have to worry about making small movements uh, and make a mistake where the blades get caught in something which it's not supposed to so that's good and all I can say is Ryobi if you're watching I could do with some more of your tools I intend to make a big collection but it's going to take me a lot of time so some freebies would be very nice maybe a multi-tool maybe a hand vac maybe a pressure washer if you're feeling generous um, yeah, uh, my birthday is coming soon, so I think my wife's already getting me a reciprocating saw. Fingers crossed, I do get it. I'll do a review on that soon. And yeah, uh, the more Ryobi stuff I get, the more I, I'll do the reviews. But it is a good brand, especially because of the battery, especially because of the power it has. This battery I was using. not a very strong battery and it still lasted me quite long so yeah thank you for watching please subscribe to support the channel and I shall see you next time